We're being asked to integrate x times the cosine of 5x. In this problem, we can use either tabular or integration by parts. Let's go ahead and be lazy and use tabular. So when you're using tabular, you want to pick something that after repeated differentiation is 0. So in this case, that something is x. So I'm going to write down the x. And then you want to pick something that you can integrate easily. So cosine of 5x. And over here, we're going to differentiate. And then over here, we're going to integrate. So when you take the derivative of x, you get 1. And then you take the derivative again, and you get 0. And that's the whole point of picking x to differentiate. Because if you differentiate it, eventually you get 0. When you integrate cosine, you're going to get sine. But in this case, it's going to be sine of 5x, and then you divide by 5. How did I do that so quick? Well, when, when you're integrating cosine of, let's say, bx with respect to x, if b is not 0, this is simply sine of bx divided by b plus c. How do you do that? Well, you can just let u equal bx, and then so du is bdx divide by b, etc. So this is a super useful formula, and you want to be able to integrate stuff like this uh, on the fly. Integrating again, we end up with negative cosine 5x, and then again, dividing by 5, we get 25. All right, now what you do is you put plus and minus signs. So this one starts with a plus, and then it's minus, and then plus. If there was another one, then it would be a minus. And then you draw arrows, and then you write the answer down. It's that easy. So the final answer, let's see, following the arrows, we end up with x over 5 sine of 5x. And then here we get another positive because negative and negative is positive. So plus 1 over 25 cosine 5x and then plus our constant c. So that's a pretty simple example of tabular. So to recap, you pick something that after repeated differentiation is 0. That's something in this case is x. And then whatever is left, you have to integrate it. And ideally, it's something that you can integrate. So cosine is something that we can integrate. So I hope that made sense.